Good morning, everybody. I hope everybody is well. It is Sunday, the 6th of March. It's around half past nine in the morning in the UK. I need to ask a question. Well, I'm, I'm come here to ask a question, basically. Are you experiencing setbacks in life? Do you feel as though your efforts to succeed in whatever way are being thwarted at the moment? If so, there is a blockage somewhere. Now it could be a mental blockage. It could be a physical blockage. It could be a financial blockage. But either way, there is one thing seems to be one thing that keeps eluding you, that keeps holding you back. Every time you look like you're going to climb the tree, if you like, it's almost as if you can only get so far before you fall again. And I'm seeing a horse with a, blo a broken leg. And horses are about freedom. And yes, the horse still has three legs, but one of the legs is broken. So there's something, it's a resistance. There's some inner resistance to you claiming your success. It's a blockage, some sort of emotional, physical, maybe even a financial blockage. So if you are, at this moment in time, being held back or feel as though you're being held back by something that's going on in your life or a lack of money or a lack of support, then this reading is for you. And I think there probably are quite a lot of people that are experiencing this at the moment. There's some letting go to be done. And I, we, I know we are 10 days away or so from the new moon, which is all about letting go of something that no longer is relevant in your life. And that could be a state of mind. It could be a physical condition. It could be the thought of that physical condition that's crippling you, if you like. Thoughts are incredibly powerful things. And sometimes the things that we tell ourselves are more of a blockage than our own physical surroundings and our own physical conditions. So, I'm going to I've shuffled the cards, I've cleansed them with sound, and I'm going to ask for some tarot cards to try and figure out what this broken leg is all about. What's stopping your freedom? So here we go. It feels okay. Okay. Well, the first card we've got is the Ace of Cups. And if you look at the card, the water is pouring from four different directions. North, south, east, west. There is a dove here with a coin with the four directions on it. 
and if the coin drops into the water it's going to overflow even more. This is there, there's an offer there. It's almost as if you are climbing the tree. You are reaching for this new beginning that's going to light you up. It's not necessarily about relationships. It can be about anything that you love, anything that you desire. And you're, I'm seeing someone climbing a tree, a woman climbing a tree. Now that might not be literally climbing a tree, but it's almost like, climbing your way to freedom if you like the offer is there but there's something in there's something standing in your way it might even be your ability to receive do you feel unworthy to receive do you even know that you feel unworthy to receive? It's almost, this is the universe offering something that's going to bring you a lot of joy in your life. Peace, doves are about peace. There's a, it's a resistance here and there's a resistance here because the next card out was the the Eight of Cups, it's almost as if you you may have been offered something. Do you not trust it? Don't you trust it? Do you think? You're, it's almost as if you might be in two minds about accepting this offer as being for real. Because of your experience of the past, maybe you have been scammed before maybe you are reluctant to be willing to dream that this could be something that will bring you great joy and it's almost as if you get halfway up the tree and you climb down again because the Um, because you fear what it means to have some success in your life. This offer is genuine. This venture is genuine. If it's a person, this person is genuine. And what's standing in your way is you. Maybe your experience of the past. Maybe your fear of being hurt. Maybe your fear of trying something new and it not being successful. You're walking away before you've even found out it's almost as if you're not even curious enough to find out because there's fear there. And then the last card out is the lovers. If this is about a relationship or a potential relationship, are you walking away from a really, really good relationship? Do you have someone else in mind? Are you choosing someone else? And the way they came out, the Eight of Cups, is heading towards the lovers. This is a genuine offer. This is a risk. There's some balance needed here. There is going to be another choice made. Let's have another one. What is this all about? Okay, so we have, and we have a tower. We have the tower. So if this is about a relationship, 
or the off or the offer of a stable loving relationship that you are walking away from and you're going to make another choice this is about the dis i think this is about the destruction of a relationship dismantling a relationship have you been trying really hard in this relationship or have you not been trying at all is the person that you've in a relationship with if you are in a relationship trying really hard and you're not interested because you want to choose something else are you about to destroy that relationship and if you're not in a relationship and you have the choice between two people you're walking away from a genuine offer and heading towards no offer whatsoever because this will be short-lived However, if you don't have love for this person, if you don't have love for this person giving you a genuine loving offer, then it's not an even relationship anyway. I'm going to take one more. Ace of Wands at the bottom. So that, I mean, ace at ones at the bottom of the deck tells me that this is more passion. This is more passion and fire and less about love. But if you want the passion and fire, you want passion and fire. Okay. So the whoever this person is, who I'm speaking to, and it might be several of you, I asked, in my head, I asked for a card to clarify these two. The Ace of Cups and the Walking Away. And the broken leg, if you like, the horse with the broken leg, is the Nine of Wands. And the Nine of Wands is about putting up your barriers. So, this is almost as though you are now, you are resistant to the idea of genuine love I dropped it you're resistant got this this and then there's a resistance which is making you walk away so when you're so in your head in your heart you're telling yourself you want love but there are barriers there this is making me believe that whoever i'm speaking to here is um has been very badly hurt in the past and has closed their heart and although they want genuine love there is emotional trauma holding you back you are putting up the barriers and you know that this choice is just short-lived you know it's short-lived and you're all right maybe you're not i don't feel as though you are all right with that it's almost as if you want love but you don't know how to receive it anymore and then we've got the chariot light and dark light and dark but it's not really all that bad because the chariot the chariot is telling you that there is a way forward there is a way forward and towers 
although there's destruction in this particular relationship, destruction brings about new energy, rebuilding. And the chariot here is just telling me to, it's time to move forward. It's time to put that behind you and move forward because deep down you really don't want to be going flitting from one fiery passionate encounter to another what you really want is love and you've had it in the past and you've been hurt to the point where the barriers are up and you're starting to realize this now and it's up to you to decide when to when to put that um, the, the barriers away. It's time to destroy the barriers and move forward for love. Because I'm getting the sense that whoever has been flitting from one short-term, fiery, passionate relationship to another um, is continually walking away from the ones, the, the love, the potential love, love relationships you've been walking away from. And I get the feeling that you've had enough of that do we need another one too many too many okay and we have the Six of Pentacles. It's now time to balance yourself out. You're thinking about balancing yourself out now. Seriously thinking about giving yourself the opportunity to feel again regardless of what the outcome may or may not be. If you don't, if you avoid love because you have been badly hurt, and I'm feeling a lot of hurt in this reading, um, because you've lost trust, but yet you still need connection, physical connection you actually are receiving short bursts of emotional connection and you're walking away from the potential relationships that um, could offer you the love again and just because you've been hurt before doesn't mean you will be hurt again and you know what hurt feels like now and if you enter into a relationship not trusting that other person or not giving them a chance if you like then it's almost like you're manifesting another bad relationship I expect the next one who takes your fancy, that makes your heart flutter a little bit. Expect the next one. Expect it to be good, and it will be. Expect it to be bad, and it will be. There's nothing worse than being in a relationship where the other person doesn't trust you for no reason whatsoever. So what is needed here? I'm feeling as though there's some healing needs to be sent to the past. 
такого я. And we've got what's this one? We've got the star. And the star is about healing. So yeah, what you need, what's needed here is healing. And then you will allow the King of Wands to come in. I always see the Knight of Wands as the one for now and the King of Wands as the one. Is passionate, is fiery, is intuitive, is assertive, is bold. Is safe. So whoever this reading resonates with, if it does to anybody, for, for anybody at all, what's needed here is some healing being sent to the past. So when I come off this video today, I will send Reiki healing to the past to anybody who watches this video. Because healing is needed here. And the reason why you don't climb to the top of the tree to get the, the, the best fruit at the top of the tree is because of trauma. That broken leg is trauma. And there's no sense of freedom there. It's almost as if you are deliberately choosing someone who you know is not long term, but is just in it for... The sexual encounter and you're getting fed up with it you can identify these types of people easily but it's almost as if you can't identify the ones who are genuine the heart closed a little bit off so I will be sending Reiki healing to the past for anybody who watches this and who this re um, reading resonates for as well because and I won't know who you are so if this reading does resonate just leave me a comment in the comments box and I will send Reiki healing into, to you personally if this resonates with you but I will send it as a, a collective thing this could also be about um, a venture, a, a, a some sort of um, work venture, career venture. It could be that you're continually going to the what you know will will work and what and how long that will work for, because maybe you've been in business before. And maybe you've lost it all. And maybe there is a tra trauma that you're going to do it again. It's like I'm frightened to grab the, the tree, the, the best fruit at the top of the tree. Because you've done that before. And it didn't work out. Dare to dream. And... visualize what it is that you really do want and then act and behave as though it's already yours the minute you start visualizing that someone's going to do you dirty then your attention's there we've got between worlds number three It's almost as if that's the past where you've been hurt or traumatised or where you've lost everything and you're tr trying to step out into a bright new future but you've got your one foot in in both camps. There's something holding you back, you've got one broken leg. So, between worlds. I'm going to read, 
I think I want to read all of it because this could mean this Eight of Cups and the Tower could mean any part of your life. So I'm going to read all of it. Between the worlds is where you must, must let go of the tendency to make assumptions. This is a time when you are unable to see what is ahead. Cultivate curiosity and trust the process of change and growth. You are done learning the lessons of recent experiences. This play, in this place, between what was and what will be is a state of making and unmaking and making again. What is essential now is to admit not knowing. There is a great freedom and power to be unleashed. A mystery that is not yours to understand weaves the web of life within a divine matrix of consciousness greater than your own thoughts, feelings, beliefs, desires and decisions. The seeds that were planted in the past begin to take root, but what surfaces will probably not be what you expect. When you are between worlds, you are invited to see with the curious eyes of a child glimpsing a rainbow for the very first time. Do so and you will not be disappointed. And this is the relationship message if this is, resonates for those in relationships. This is the time to explore the new energy between you and another. It is not a moment for certainty, but rather for discovery and curiosity. You don't yet know if this will last forever. So allow yourself to explore who you are and what is reflected back at you. This relationship is meant to educate you about yourself. What do you need? What do you like or dislike? What values are important to you? You are in a critical phase of your relationship that is not to be dismissed or hurried. If this is about work, in your work, sometimes you try things that have worked for others, hoping that you too will be successful. When this symbol appears, it reminds you that sometimes the path to your prosperity is a gamble. Win or lose, you can learn much from what comes of your wager. It's a good time to bet on your skills and talents in new and different arenas. Remain curious and with the right combination of timing and luck, you will stumble upon something golden that will be unlike anything you've known before. So yeah, so that is basically saying you need to know yourself, you need to see where your blocks are um, and if you are, if it's about business for you, if you are worried about um, starting again or being, you know, having horrendous money issues or bankruptcy or, you know, lo losing your business, if you don't if you don't dip your toe in the water, you're not going to get wet. But you're not going to you're not going to experience it either. So, just because something's happened in the past doesn't mean that's a repeating cycle. It will only repeat if your attention is on the trauma of the past. Try and see it with, um, well, it says, see it through the eyes of a child seeing a, a rainbow for the first time. You know, just to see it as, you know, some sort of kid in a sweet shop, you know, full of joy. You don't know what to pick. You know, when you go to the biggest sweet, the biggest, shiniest one, the best fruit at the top of the tree. Keep climbing, keep climbing. So let's have a postcard from Spirit just to finish up. Okay, we've got one. We've got one. Dear you, what is true for you? Can you be impeccable with your word? Sure you can. As long as it's not used to manipulate others, the truth can set everyone free. 
let go of the results, let go of your fears and allow the truth to empower you and others. This will set into motion a kind of change that will be supportive of you and loving and all kinds of prosperous. This is not a time to compromise and hide your truth from others. Whatever it is you want, go for it and be clear in your motives, especially with yourself. You will be happy you did. This is a time where you will tap into the power to co-create and manifest your best life. Doesn't that feel amazing? And the results? Miraculous. When you tell the truth and ask the same of others, you can learn a lot from life's bountiful lessons and achieve your dreams. Now I was going to end it there, but then I'm reminded... But maybe if this is about love for people, it could be. It doesn't have to be um, romantic love. It could be the love of, I don't know, something that you love doing, perhaps. And then, I don't know, for some reason, it might have gone a bit wonky, and um, you'd no longer do it. So I'm going to pull a lovers oracle. Now these cards are really difficult to shuffle because they're heart shaped and uh, don't even go there. So let's have a lover's oracle. They are really, really difficult to shuffle. <laughs> I would... Okay, so we've got... No, we haven't. <sighs> Come on. This one. Balance. And that's the picture on it. Yin and yang, light and dark, male and female. Male and female, light and dark. Balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. And I'm told to get the one from the bottom. So what's this one? That's fire. If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is the gateway to the soul. Right, so the answer's in the heart. What does your heart truly desire? The answer is in here, not in here. Because this... Your mind is there, your conscious and subconscious brain is there to protect you. And if you have experienced trauma or loss in the past, which m many of us do, we all do at some point in our lifetimes, then the mind will continue to, um, it will flood your brain with thoughts in order to stop you from heading in the direction where you may have been hurt before in the past. You need to feel your way into this. Feel your way into this. What is it that your heart wants? Not what is it that your mind is, is deterring you from. So... Have a little think about what your heart's saying to you today. I'll be sending Reiki. Healing Reiki to the past for those who've gone through hurt and trauma. Have a lovely Sunday and I'll see you all next week. Be kind. <laughs>